Well, windy out there today. Wind advisory issued this morning was expanded farther west into Hidalgo County, so it is windy over most of the valley. Strongest winds have been over Cameron and Wilsey counties, but winds could be gusting up to around 50 miles per hour or a little more this afternoon and uh, through about almost sunset. Small craft advisors also in fact along the coast where it is very windy. So again, a uh, windy day across the valley. Wind advisory in effect for most of the valley. Otherwise, it's a very warm day. It will turn cooler tomorrow with a cold front moving through late tonight, but the winds could be uh, fairly gusty again during the daytime tomorrow behind the front. Maybe not the intensity of today, but uh, still a fairly windy day tomorrow until the winds die off more tomorrow night and for Thursday. Winds right now, the actual speeds without the gusts, you can kind of see where the strongest winds are. That kind of reddish, sort of dark reddish color right there it goes across Cameron and Willsey counties. That's kind of the core of the strongest winds. Brownsville, the sustained wind of 38 miles per hour. And as I mentioned earlier, tropical storm force, you know, when we look at hurricanes and tropical storms are at 39 miles per hour to get a tropical storm. So uh, that gives you an idea. It's a, it's a pretty strong wind out there, almost tropical storm force strength in Brownsville. Even a gust uh, higher than that in many places. We'll show you the gusts in a second. We notice the winds are much less once you get west of about McAllen and Mission. The winds really drop off. A uh, wind gust, though, as high as 52 miles per hour in Brownsville was 54 miles per hour last hour. Uh, 47 the gust in Harlingen and Raymondville. And then again, the winds get less gusty the farther west you go into western Hidalgo and Star counties. Now, future track kind of gives you an idea. I don't really look at every single specific number on here, but notice the trends here. By this afternoon, still fairly windy across the valley through about 5 or 6 p.m. And then the winds decrease later this evening. You see the colors kind of go away with the stronger winds. And then overnight, winds drop off. But then the cold front comes in tomorrow morning. Notice at 7 a.m., you can kind of pick up pick out about where the computer model shows the front right there exiting the valley, but along and behind the front winds increase again, especially along the coast where it'll be very windy tomorrow. Those scale watches in effect later tonight and tomorrow morning at the coast, uh, but some strong winds are possible again on Wednesday during the day and again, especially along the coast before the winds die off finally everywhere tomorrow evening and night and then it looks much calmer tomorrow night and for Thursday and Friday. Current temperatures at 79 in Wesleco, 80 in McAllen, 77 in Rio Grande City, upper 70s in the lower valley over Cameron and Wilsey counties. And today uh, it's been fairly sunny. A few high clouds are coming through. I think it will be a fairly sunny afternoon with just some patches of high clouds. There could be some clouds increasing later this evening ahead of the cold front. The actual cold front that's causing the wind or partially causing the wind is still in West Texas and a little pressure way up to the north in Kansas, but the wind being sucked up into that storm system. Uh, creating a very strong winds across the valley this afternoon. But again, there will be some stronger winds on the backside once it blows through tomorrow morning. Now there could be a little rain tonight with the front. We are windy this afternoon with partly to mostly sunny skies around by this evening. Clouds start to increase late this evening and after you get to about one or two in the morning when the front gets closer through tomorrow morning, there could be some showers. This shows 8 a.m. the front just exiting in the valley, but there could be some scattered light rain showers in parts of the valley anywhere from about midnight or 1 a.m. through about 8 a.m. or so. But doesn't look like a lot of rain. We're still talking about, you know, if you do get showers, maybe a tenth of an inch or so, just not much to go around, but a lot of areas may stay dry. But once the front passes, then the winds increase tomorrow, sun comes back out, but it will be a much cooler day. We're talking between this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon, probably about 20 degrees cooler. It will likely be closer to 60 instead of 80 tomorrow. And then a clear chilly night tomorrow night. I think we'll be seeing temperatures down in many areas reaching the upper 30s or so by Thursday morning, but enough sunshine will warm us up again for the day on Thursday. So rain chances are dry today. Any showers after midnight tonight through about sunrise tomorrow, about 40% chance for rain and then dry weather returns on Thursday and Friday. So the first 1570 forecast highs around 81 today. Again, maybe some showers late tonight, but a very windy day and then a windy day tomorrow too. The temperatures are much cooler tomorrow though with a cooler north wind blowing. A calmer day on Thursday with highs around 71 after lows near 36 in the morning. A chilly start to the day on Thursday. Even Friday looks kind of cool in the morning, but near 72 in the afternoon. Another cold front is doing here sometime late Saturday or Saturday night. That could create some showers and then it gets cooler again to finish the weekend on Sunday. We'll keep tracking these changes in your first 1-5 forecast here on Channel 5 News at noon.